Good day and warm welcome to our subscribers. I attended quite recently the interview between the large job giver in Moscow and a few of the candidates who would like to get job there. Uh, for many years I was sure that the main problem uh, is a language, Russian language, or may, maybe some other subtleties connecting with job. And as I realized quite recently, it can't. Um, the one who would like to get job in Russia very frequently speaks Russian. And uh, from the opposite side, the HR specialist or some other representative of the job giver understand English language. So the language is not a problem. They understand each other uh, practically perfectly. Uh, but the main problem that is main set is very different. Uh, the experience when they started the discussing the conditions of work and uh, the question with documentary formalities, the list of responsibilities, of mutual responsibilities, they understand each other not very well. Um, and that's why I think it's very important um, for the future uh, job seeker, the future employee, to uh, know as much as possible about the company where they would like to work in Russia. Because there are a lot of open sources, such as in Internet or in some other uh, places, open databases and uh, all of that. Um, our company quite frequently help large job givers company in Moscow and St. Petersburg to invite foreigners and to make all the paperwork uh, to get legal invitation for the work documents, uh, the work permits and all of the documentary formalities. Uh, only very ra large international companies situated in Moscow, in Russia, uh, understand quite well how to deal with these documents. And if the company didn't have any contacts with foreigner employees, they don't understand how to deal with these documents and they invite um, me or some of uh, from our legal company to help them. And that's why I'm quite frequently observing from the side these negotiations, these interviews, and I see a lot of um, very big misunderstanding between uh, the distant foreigners from Russia and the Russian specialists who would like to invite uh, or to hire them to work. Um, to understand this phenomena, we can step back a little and uh, you must understand that uh, approximately 20 years ago, where, when it was a Soviet Union, there are a lot of historical predominates here and um, a lot of people from Ukraine, from Baltic countries, from Caucasus working here. They also regarded the foreigners, but when the HR specialists look at the documents of the future employee from China, from India, from United States, it doesn't matter, because it's regarded for Russian as, as distant foreigners. And uh, very often they are afraid uh, to start working with these uh, foreigners from the distant abroad, as they regarded it. And that's why, uh, for my opinion, it's needed several negotiations uh, to understand each other. It's practically impossible to uh, discuss all the subtleties from the first time. That's why my best advice to you is to try to uh, collect the information, to ask a lot of questions and be ready for this first interview because it is very important for your future uh, opportunities to get a job in the company in Russia that you would like to.